I don't really know how to answer that question. And I'm not, I'm not saying that to be difficult or stubborn, but it, it is not simple. So I can't just, I can't just point at something and say, okay, that's love. I recognize it easily and I feel that. It, to me, this question is a no brainer. This hurts. That there is at least one thing he should be able to point at and say, that's love. And that's the fact that I'm still here and have supported him throughout this process. Because my feelings for him are very complex, but I can very easily say that's love. As they say, it's like asking a colorblind person to describe the color red. They can't do it. He can't describe love because he can't feel it. He doesn't feel anything. Lack of empathy for their victims is a classic psychopathic trait. Paris was able to coldly murder his sister just to punish his mother. Why did you have such anger towards your mother? I spent a lot of time feeling alone as a child. A lot of time feeling left out, not only left out not only by my peers, but also by my own family. See, every time he says, because I've heard him say that before, that he felt alone or left out, I'm always amazed. Like, where did that feeling come from? Because for the longest time, he was my only child. Life revolved around Paris. He was very loved by everybody. I was very present as a mother. How could he have felt that way? Because I remember his childhood completely different. But you had done this specifically in the end yes to cause your mother maximum pain this has achieved your goal which was to effectively mean your mother lost both her children at once one to death one to incarceration when you saw her completely grief-stricken and in utter torment that is what you were hoping to achieve by your actions so i'm just curious whether the reality of what you hope to achieve lived up to your expectation or hope? No. At no point did I ever feel like I had accomplished something or that I had achieved a goal. And I, I'm, I'm, it, one of the reasons why it's so hard for me to talk about how I felt at that time is because I'm, I'm completely estranged from who I was then. And I just, now I can't comprehend how I could ever have thought that killing my sister would solve my problems. It's, it's like we're here talking about a completely different person. It's like you're asking me to try to climb inside someone else's head and peer through his eyes and catalog his thoughts. And I realize we're talking about myself, but it doesn't feel like we are. Is he the purest personification of a psychopath? He evidences many of the traits of really strong psychopaths. If you can kill your little sister in a really horrific way, then literally anybody can be your target. And it would be a mistake to think that he's going to age out of his propensity for manipulation or crime. Psychopaths are in a class by themselves. They don't age out. It's really a lifelong affliction. 